Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to create custom text in terms of custom design, custom font styles, decorations, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using generative fill. As you can see here, I went and made red and green sparklers. And you can see here that this text looks pretty cool with this applied to it. And it's super easy to do. So let me show you how to do it step by step. This works really, really well for YouTube thumbnails, I should add. So if you're making YouTube thumbnails, keep this in mind. Okay, so the first step, click on new file. Now notice before you click on anything, I'm in Photoshop beta. The reason why is the generative fill hasn't shipped to the full Photoshop version yet. So here we go, I'm gonna load up my Creative Cloud and if you don't have the beta installed, go to Creative Cloud, go to your apps file or your apps folder here and then click on beta apps and then go ahead and just search for Photoshop beta and make sure that it's clicked on install it. So you can go ahead and install it. Off we go. Again, now let's get cracking. First step, click on new file. I'm gonna go ahead and create a thumbnail size. So this is gonna be 1920 by 1080. But before I go any further, please note that I've made the background transparent because when I export this, I don't wanna export anything but just the, the font or the text and the cool style in it. So that's all I wanna do. So I'm gonna click on create transparent background. All right, here we go. The next step is I'm gonna go ahead and just write in some text. So I'm gonna click on the text tool and I'm just gonna type in a little word, like I'm gonna go big boss, whatever, something silly like that. And I'm gonna make them a small word so I can make the font really, really huge so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm making this huge on purpose and something like that. I'm gonna center it up and presto. Okay, big boss, let's put this in the middle here somewhere. And presto, now we're still in, again, inside Photoshop beta. The next step is the critical one, is we're gonna go and hold down the command key on a Mac, the control key on a PC, and then just left click on your text here, right here where the T is, just left click on it. And what happens is, is that selects the text and only the text, so nothing else is selected. So if you had, if this was on a thumbnail and you had a whole bunch of stuff in the background, that would not be selected, just the text. Now, you'll see here in this bar that we've got generative fill as an option. I'm just gonna left click on that here, and then I'm gonna type in what I want this to look like. So in this case, I want it to look like, I don't know, fireworks, right? Let's just go with something simple. I'm gonna go ahead with that. I'm gonna click on generate, and let's see what we get. It only takes a few seconds, and while it loads here and it does its thing, look on the right side here, you'll see under pro under properties, generative layer prompt fireworks. The reason why that's interesting is because we can just go ahead and change this kind of on the fly. So here's our first crack. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and look at the second one. I'm just gonna click on this right arrow. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie, I like that one. Let's click on the third one. Maybe that one's the one I want, I don't know. All right, well, let's see. Maybe we wanna run it again, right? You didn't get it right the first time. Just click on the prompt here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit fireworks. 4th of July, whatever, right? Like, I'm just having some fun here. I'm gonna click on Generate, and you're gonna see that it gives us another set of three variations. And currently, in the beta and probably in the final production version of Photoshop, they're not restricting this. You can just go nuts and just keep on cracking at it until you find something you like. Like, that looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. That one's pretty good. That one's not as good, so this one, maybe that's the one I want. Okay, good, now we've got our font and we've got our text. Now all you gotta do is go to File, you go to Export, and Export As, and I'm gonna export as a PNG. So I'm just gonna make sure PNG is selected. The reason why PNG is because you have a transparent background, and then Presto, I'm gonna click on Export, and wherever the heck, I'll put it on my, let's put it in my pictures, and we'll call it Artboard 1 because I'm not very creative. And then when I go to Finder and I go to Pictures, let's go to Pictures. Come on, Curtis, where's Pictures? There she be. And Artboard 1, I double click, open it up, and there we go. We've got just the text with the decoration applied to it and nothing else. You can take that and drop that in on top of your thumbnail and it will look awesome, guaranteed. Thanks for watching.